we talked about uh, making scales come alive in the last video. So this next one, number nine, is uh, going to be a demonstration of a few ways to do that. Uh, first of all, before talking about it, let's just do it. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm, uh, I'm accenting two and four. So if I'm playing in quarter notes, I'm accenting two and four. One, two, three, four. And if I'm playing in eighth notes, I'm accenting all the upbeats. two reasons. One is to give the scale forward motion, uh, and the second is to make a connection with the drummer. So um, maybe you've heard people talk about how to use a metronome. Um, I'll talk about that in a second. The point I want to make right now is that I'm not choosing to accent beats two and four for a random reason or because it's correct. Uh, I'm doing it for a specific reason, which is that it mimics the activity of the left foot of the drummer. So, le uh, assuming the, the drummer is right-handed, um, the drummer's saying, mm, chick, mm, chick, one, two, three, four, mm, chick, mm, chick, mm, chick, mm, chick, okay, in the traditional way of playing uh, bebop. Uh, Hi-hats on two and four, so if I'm accenting two and four, I'm learning how to feel that accent in my own body. And what I want to bring to the table is my own internal feeling of rhythm. Uh, if I have a strong internal feeling of rhythm that I can bring up next to the drummer when he or she is playing, then we are meeting, <clears throat> excuse me, we are meeting as equals. I'm bringing my sense of rhythm to the table. She's bringing her sense of rhythm to the table and we're vibrating off each other. <clears throat> if, I, if I'm relying on the drummer to tell me where the time is, then I'm leaning on the drummer. And the drummer will feel that weight and it will reduce the drummer's feeling of, of freedom in the music. Okay, so uh, a word about metronomes, uh, as, I, as I mentioned. So here's what I do with a metronome. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I trained myself early on, many years ago, to, as soon as I hear a, metro, a metronome come on, I trained myself to hear it on two and four. It takes a little while, uh, you know, a little bit of time to, to find that. All you have to do is turn it on. <coughs> uh, I just turned it off. It's still going in my body. Uh, all you have to do is turn it on and count a two or a four as you hear the down, as you hear, you know, the click from the metronome. Four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And if you're used to hearing a metronome on one and three, it might take a little while uh, to, to get used to that. You can do it, it's no big deal. Um, again, it's not, I'm not doing that because it's correct. There's no correct way to use a metronome. Uh, but I like this particular way, as I said, because it mimics the activity of the drummer. So I'm doing this so as to establish a connection in the rhythm with the way the drummer is playing. Okay, and I also prefer myself personally not to play with a metronome because a metronome is not a human being. There's no play in it. It's, it's very exact. And a, and a human being, you want a human being to have a strong sense of time, but there's also some, some humanity, some life in that. Uh, so I, what I like to do is use the metronome as a way to strengthen my own sense of time. So if I, I have this uh, set at 60 right now, which means 120 to the quarter note, because I'm having it beat on two and four. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I set the metronome 
I find that tempo in my body and I keep it going. You can't see my foot in the video maybe, but it's, it's tapping on that sound I just heard from the metronome. And now I'm gonna play some, some scales accenting two and four. And then I'm gonna check after I finish to see if my tempo moved. One, two, uh, and you see of course I'm also trying to let myself improvise a little bit if I hear something I see if I can play it and now in eighth notes one two three Okay, uh, that's where I think I just was, and now I'm going to turn the uh, metronome back on, see if I moved. Yeah. Maybe I slowed down just a hair. Not sure, actually. It didn't sync up exactly when the metronome came back on. So maybe I'll listen to this video and, and see what I did. There you go. That's I'm trying to demonstrate my actual process rather than getting it perfect in the video. Uh, and I think you get the idea. Okay, so I'll do that. Uh, like many of the things that I that I practice, I'll practice with a scale. See if I can bring that scale alive, and maybe I'll do a couple of keys, and and then move on to something else. I don't want to. Uh, I always want to feel like I'm playing. I don't want to feel like I'm working. I'm not working jazz music. I'm playing it. Uh, so I try to. I tried to practice to become a player rather than somebody who works the music. Okay, uh, onward.